the hands of, uh, if he wants to say it's Jubilee, then it's playing to the hands of Jubilee because they're shifting the focus all to one guy, and this is one guy, and everything else is, is uh, covered. Okay. I think, yeah, Michael, yeah. Michael, I want to say one or two things. First, it is a rather a very unfortunate incident, and um, right now I think Kenya has come a long way, and uh, the last thing they would want to see is actually anything that reminds us of where we've come from. We've made a lot of strides in terms of uh, uh, expanding our democratic space, in terms of even constitutionalism. These are, there are various fundamental rights that are provided for in the Constitution. So uh, the Joho Nkaiseri incident is very unfortunate. And I think uh, Nkaiseri, who's a personal friend of mine, is actually dead wrong on these. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I don't want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't get that. He's dead wrong on these. What I'm trying to say is that uh, this is a political storm that is unwarranted at this time. The country must be healing, and by virtue of them attacking Joho, they are actually making him larger than life. Joho, perhaps even somebody in the villages, most of the Kenyans, perhaps might not even have known him before this incident. And when you look at the issues around the gun and uh, the refusal of Joho to return the gun, I think one is tempted to think that his woes date back from when the president actually camped in his own uh, political his constituency. Mm -hmm. You remember the altercation that almost de degenerated into um, a fist fight between him and uh, uh, Nairobi Senator Sonko. So this is unfortunate. The government must be careful. They are playing into the hands of uh, <laughs> the court. <laughs> I think they, there are various things that but, we should do. Yeah, yeah. then, 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 then does that mean... Two, mm -hmm. two, let me fault the media on this. Because looking at that issue, we don't know what is happening. Because Kimaro has said return the gun. The question is, have the other governors uh, returned their guns? Because they are talking of rationalization. Uh, come oh, on. No, there's, there's two things here. There's two things. Uh, the, 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 with the other governors, it is the withdrawal yes, of security withdrawal. detail. Sorry, sorry. With Joho, it's withdrawal of security detail plus yes. revocation of the, the gun. The, the but gun what I'm trying to say is the media right now should be telling us whether that rationalization has happened on the other governors because they are talking of each governor having five uh, security or bodyguards. Okay. All right, Gadara. Um, uh, have, have we um, blown this out of proportion as the media? Because really we're concentrating here as the media. And uh, given that uh, the argument from Latif is that this is a political storm. It's two people fighting there for whatever reason. Do we need to give it as much time as we're giving it? <laughs> well, I, I, I think as usual, uh, uh, the media here misses the, uh, uh, the mark. drops of ball, misses the mark. Because in essence, they, 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 they are... They're too invested, if you will, in the politics of what's going on. So politics of God versus Jubilee and Malindi and Mombasa, you know, uh, the, uh, how do I put it, um, the theater, if you will, of um, uh, Joho versus uh, Ang Kayseri. Uh, but I think what's being missed out here is the law. And this is not what is articulated. I mean, people keep speaking, as Crispus just did now, you know, of returning a gun. But Joho wasn't given a gun by the government it's a license. so that he returns it. You know, there's no law. If you read the Firearms Act, that requires him, even in the case where your license is withdrawn, to take your gun to the government. But you see, you cannot hold, so, 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 so you cannot, you cannot hold a gun no, if you don't have a license. See. That's what I'm coming That's what we call an illegal no, actually, file. actually, right. read the law. The law says, well, if they withdraw, you've got 14 days within which to appeal this. Mm -hmm. you know. Okay, well, we, we have some of the, the, the um, uh, reasons or the revocation of firearms. And if a license holder is believed to be a threat to public safety and peace, police are justified in revoking their the license. license right. Yes, so if in this case, I think uh, what was quoted is the fact that uh, Joho apparently, uh, his temperament is what was quoted for being <laughs> a bit dangerous. Firearm holders' misconduct can oh, lead goodness. to revocation of a license, right. even if they are not in actual possession of the firearm at the time of the incident. And the final um, graphic on that uh, we have is a licensed officer shall by notice in writing require the holder to surrender the firearm certificate if the holder fails to do so within 14 days. Okay, mm -hmm. we have um, another one which um, says from the date of notice he shall uh, be guilty of an offense if 
and found liable with a fine not exceeding mm. a thousand shillings. Then the last one, which says that um, uh, those who uh, those whose license have been terminated may appeal to Inspector General of Police for a review of their right. case. So, um, I mean, uh, as you've seen in the laws, and actually, if you read through the Firearms Act, you know, which details a lot, um, what the government licenses is possession. You can, if, if they withdraw your gun, for example, your license, your license. Uh, uh, to hold a gun, there's nothing stopping you taking that gun, for example, to a licensed dealer and telling them to keep it for you. And, or there's selling nothing, it. Or selling it to them. But you there's not nothing it. that compels you, as has been, keeps being said, to return this gun to government. Okay, government okay, did okay, not fine. give I, I, you no, yeah, but, that's, that's, but, Now, let me finish. There, there, there's another issue that I think is also being glossed but, No, but that I think that needs to be clear, because if the license, uh, if the issue of the license revokes the license what do you do with the gun now this is the thing you you, as i said you, you can take the gun to a licensed gun dealer you can sell it back to them mm -hmm. you basically can give you're it not, to them to hold it for you, you are not supposed you know, to you see, you, oh, what the government is telling you don't possess the gun yes that's take what it, it licenses okay. Okay. You, know, you know the you second know, thing let me finish uh, chris the okay, second okay. thing that's i think also important here is the idea that government simply has discretion you know that kimaru can simply decide to withdraw Courts have ruled on this idea, issue of discussion. It says you have a right to a fair administrative action. Mm. That the government cannot just withdraw it. You know, they've got to have good reason for doing it. You know, and we need to be drilling and down good, into what good reason those, is stipulated you know, there in the law. Yeah, precisely. You know, and this temperament idea, being one yeah, of I'm it. saying, even <laughs> in terms of term, uh, temperament, <laughs> even in terms of temperament, you know, um, uh, if you look at the court case, uh, uh, there was one I was reading about um, the other day uh, on, uh, on liquor. License again in, in the ruling. Read the ruling. They talk about the fairness of administrative action. You know, okay, like so it is required so, by the constitution so, so that they don't just arbitrarily so act. So basically, what you're saying is that actually the media has not highlighted some of this. Some yes, absolutely. I agree with yeah, Gavara. Yes. And you see, for me also another thing that the media has not highlighted is uh, that. Um, uh, Mkaisevi is getting his Masai, Masai, Masai Shuka in a twist. I mean, he's, he's talking about so many other things that actually, <laughs> I mean, you don't even know why this thing is being withdrawn. Fine. I get your point, Gadara, that we've not broken down the law and said, okay, fine, you don't have to return the gun. But also another thing that probably we are not asking is, what about, there's so many young men, or there's so many boys in this town nowadays with guns all the time, you mm -hmm. see there's, a, there's an altercation in a pub, somebody draws a gun. Mm -hmm. If it's about temperament, I think then they need, we, need to, <laughs> yeah, we need to go down and actually look into all these things. How, what about, I mean, we look into the, what is considered when these guys issue these arms licenses? Mm -hmm. You see, I think we need to go deeper into that and also address this issue of so many guns in very many hands of probably people with uh, who lack temperament you can lack in a bit of fairness let's uh -huh. say that the issue of gun uh, holding a, a firearm license mm -hmm. has been highlighted mm -hmm. not to the depth that it should be or yeah. not to not not with as much vigor as we should because it's actually a dangerous thing when you have so many people who have guns walking around and everybody just popping a gun at you and saying yeah. Not I'm a licensed yeah you, you do know, that fact, they do that all the time yeah, they, they call themselves LFH you know licensed <laughs> firearm holder yeah. you know but you step on the, somebody's uh, the, the issue that Kimaru came to office and he started saying is that you know what there have been cartels within the police service mm -hmm. that have been colluding to issue these licenses so many of these and that's why he said we are recalling licenses right. to look at where did you get how did you actually acquire this license mm -hmm. did you go through the proper procedure were you properly vetted uh, have all those issues been put into consideration that is the story and the story is that and Kakimaru has said we have looked at this and we found that very many people have firearms firearm licenses mm -hmm. yet they're actually not yeah, it's questionable mm -hmm. how they acquired them mm -hmm. and that's where the issue is mm -hmm. okay. now Going further than that, uh, this is just politics of... All right. I, I think we seem to be agreeing on a number of issues. But again, I think uh, the other aspect uh, that the media hasn't brought out is the fact that um, uh, the government argues that uh, the reason as to why they are telling Joho to return his firearm is the fact that some of his bodyguards were involved in uh, an incident but, in Malindi. But, but the, the, his bodyguards, but the firearms license is to just Joho. a minute. Just a minute. It's to Joho, just yeah. a minute. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, the government argues that that uh, some of his bodyguards were caught on camera or whatever uh, the other the, the other areas actually harassing a woman. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether the media has taken time to look at that footage. 
and tried to see whether they can identify the people who are involved in that incident. Mm -hmm. I think that is critical for the media to try and find out. The other thing is probably to try and seek an interview with the woman and to try and um, make sense of the issues or the incident itself. Mm -hmm. Two, I think uh, the media again did a commendable job because I saw them trying to compare or uh, trying to uh, do an analysis of how VIPs are protected in this country and the allocation of bodyguards. I think we need to take the story forward and try to look at other countries. How do they protect their VIPs? Because it is important. If a governor is living in Turkana and uh, another one is uh, living in Nairobi or in Muranga, the security situation is not the same. Definitely, the one in Turkana should be accorded. Um, High state security. High, high, high security. Well, there's, there's yeah. just one last thing I think I, uh, I'd want to add on this issue, and uh, that is it points to me to government disregard of law, which we have seen a lot of happening. And I think we need to really interrogate um, what happens and, and, and why that we, we allow government constantly to keep uh, um, running away from its obligations under the law or imposing obligations that are not required under the law. Mm -hmm. you know. So um, in the cases of uh, Nkaiseri himself, um, uh, he's been ordering police all over to arrest people, to enforce particular laws, which is illegal. The Constitution says he can't do it. And I think, I think probably what the media and, needs and to do. He is needs to, to be, it, the, all these things need to be pointing out. What he's claiming under the Firearms Act doesn't exist. Mm. You know, and we need to get away from this idea that we just report what he says, but to actually contextualize it and to say, when he says this, when the president wakes up and says the uh, MPs should lead um, raids into alcohol dens, it's illegal. Mm -hmm. The courts have been told him it's illegal. <laughs> I think, uh, okay, uh, I, I think, think what, what the media probably needs to do to somebody like um, uh, the, the, the CS, I mean, going by Gadara, because Gadara always wants the media to do more, is probably we need to actually go to this gentleman here and tell him this is the law, educate him. Well, of course, yeah, probably, and educate yeah. the public because, uh, when, that when is, he breaks. Because 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 I, I, I think because we need like, to be educated. <laughs> like, Look, you've, you've, here, and you, you've shown us here <laughs> that the licensing officer <laughs> yes. has discretion. Yes. And it has just come clearly in, among the words that you've shown us. Mm -hmm. He has discretion. He can decide if he feels mm -hmm. that you pose a threat to the public yeah. because of even being near a situation it's, that is threatening to public, even when you're not holding a firearm, yeah, but he has the, the right the, to call. The, the I think is, the story is, yeah. for me, remember I started by saying that it's very clear to me what's happening here. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, politics. It's political. Yeah. And I think that's what we need to get to go beyond. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is politics, and we are all playing to the hands of those two players. The and issue of politics. a governor coming and calling a press conference in Nairobi and saying, I'll be here, come and arrest me. And we're heading towards the general election. Some of these things, by the way, should not be happening. No, I, I we think, shouldn't be I allowing what, what people to come, out? come and say, if, if you feel that you're aggrieved, go to court. You went to court at 4 p.m. Yeah. What were you telling us that he got, day he got, or he got, in the I morning? Think he, got a, he, he got just whatever right? it is. I mean, he uh, should have gone to court the first time he received that order. Mm -hmm. Go to court. Argue out your case and let's report from the okay, court. But, but, but it's coming just calling calling like political just rallies and political press I conferences. Think, I think also the government shot, I mean, literally, the government. I mean, shot itself in the foot when it came to this thing about uh, this Joho, Joho gun drama and all that. Maybe not. Because, you know, Maybe because, that's exactly their plan. Because you see the way, exactly. all, yeah, because, uh, the, way the, the way they've been giving all these directives and all that, and I don't see why there's a, fire, a firearms licensing officer. I don't understand why actually we should have a whole cabinet secretary yeah. addressing the issue of a gun for one person. You know, while we have we have so many. We have porous borders in this country. We have so many unlicensed guns actually across, which are even more harmful. And I think I think this thing should have been handled better. The government literally shut itself in the, the constitution. Food the way it the constitution this. says that. But I think this is probably where uh, the maybe constitution. you can you can blame the media uh -huh. for actually not pointing all these things, all these loopholes. Okay, the moving the conversation, the conversation the forward. Says, uh, uh, just just one thing. The question says that you cannot, that nobody can direct police to enforce the law against a particular person, you know, or to enforce a particular law. You know, that's what it says. So this is the you are no, 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 no. people. No, 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 you are misleading. No, no. it's a truth. No, no, that one you are misleading because you, you, at some you, point you, somebody you, has to be in charge. The you police themselves enforce the law. They are not directed who's the to do it. Who's uh, the police? Uh, the man in charge. Come on. Okay. It's not. It's not. It's not.